Hello fellow cinephiles, film guru here. Today I'm reviewing Professor Marsden and The Wonder Woman. And this is a film that's directed by Angela Robinson and stars Luke Evans, Rebecca Hall, Bella Heathcote, Oliver Platt and Connie Britton. And it is the story behind the creation of strong female superhero Wonder Woman. And it really looks at the man who created her and where his ideas came from to create such a character. It really looks at Harvard psychologist Dr. William Mawson played by Luke Evans, and his wife Elizabeth, played by Rebecca Hall. And it looks at him teaching at Harvard, um, teaching a theory that he'd come up with called DISC theory. Now this is a theory that he used throughout his life and that shaped his life and his decisions. Um, and DISC theory really stands for dominance, inducement, submission, and compliance. And he believed that every single one of the, every single person in the world used one of or all of these theories based upon the disc theory. It sort of looks at how he's trying to do research on these sort of things and the disc theory that he's come up with and how it sort of works. And they even end up coming up with the first lie detector, him and his wife, um, to determine people's heart rates and, and how that's affected. And it's quite interesting how that sort of comes about. For their experiments, they do look at having a volunteer to help them out. And this comes in the form of olive played by Bella Heathcote, who comes in to help them with their experiments. And due to her coming into their lives, a romantic relationship begins between the three of them, between Mawson and his wife and Olive. And this really shapes their lives. They'll ultimately lose their jobs because of people finding out of their relationship. Um, Olive's character becomes pregnant and then they have to form a life together and support each other through this sort of thing. And this comes at a time when this sort of relationship was frowned upon during the 40s. And it sort of looks at how this sort of relationship, even today, is sort of frowned upon. But to have a relationship like that in the, the early 30s is quite extraordinary. And this is a relationship that shapes so much of their life together. His wife, Elizabeth, has to become a secretary, which she hates, but she needs to pay the bills. He ends up coming up with an idea for disc theory and becomes, you know, creates Wonder Woman. He creates this comic, this idea of a woman who's very strong and powerful. And it was based upon the two women in his life and how both of them are very strong and capable women, but together they created such a powerful and strong woman. And that's what he based a lot of Wonder Woman on and the relationships that they formed and how he fought to keep all of this stuff in that he wanted with all this sort of bondage within the comics that sort of raised a lot of eyebrows at the time and caused a lot of controversy, even to the point of young boys burning Wonder Woman comics. It's just sort of interesting how it shapes the storyline and really about him trying to express the strength of women and to put it into these comics for these young kids to see, young boys to be shaped by what they read. And it's quite a powerful thing that he was able to come up with. But it also came out of sort of desperation in a way. He needed to make money and this was the only way he could think of. He'd written five books previous, but this was the only way he could start to make money. There was a lot of controversy around the comics when they first came out and to the point of sort of taking away their power, stopping this, this character. And not She wouldn't be revived again until the 1970s when Gloria Steinbeck put the picture onto something she was doing. And this reinvented her and brought Wonder Woman back. It's a really interesting concept because it looks at everything that he went through and the relationship that he had with these two women, how it shaped creation of this iconic superhero, iconic strong female superhero. That's sort of all I really want to say about the plot. It really sort of looks at the love that these three people had for each other. She, Olive, loved Elizabeth and William and Elizabeth really loved her and William really loved her and it was about how they formed this relationship, a bond that would stretch pretty much most of their lives, even to the point of when William died, Elizabeth and Olive stayed together for 38 years. It was a really strong and unique bond that was formed and relationship. I didn't really know a lot about Mawson going in. Um, I had heard that a male psychologist had written Wonder Woman and created her, but that's all I really knew about him. I didn't know anything else. I didn't know the relationship he had with his wife and with Olive and how that formed and shaped the idea of Wonder Woman. Quite controversial, the stuff that was happening at that time. I really looked at how love 
can come in all shapes and sizes in different forms can have good effects and bad effects on the people but it can shape everything and it can look over everything that has happened in life and bond people together and these three people stayed together for so long keeping this up they had children together they had this really strong relationship together and it just was interesting how they accepted each other for who they were and were willing to go on this journey with each other even when these things were frowned upon and looked at in a negative light he was widely criticized for his creation of the feminist superhero wonder woman he wasn't willing to compromise he had something to say and he wanted to express it in a creative way in the only way he knew how to and oliver platt plays a character that really started the superhero drama he stood and started printing the superman comics and then from the superman comics he, he did the wonder woman comics as well and they were a big hit when they first began and then people started to look at them what was involved in them and the things that were happening and they also looked at why did wonder woman have to have a secret identity and why was she this strong powerful amazonian woman having to be a secretary and that was all based upon his wife Elizabeth who had to become a secretary in order to make ends meet and, and help them survive. Just looking at their lives together and what he took from that and put into one woman, he put everything in there. The characters, everything, the secret identity, everything that he saw and experienced in life he put into these comics. And you know a lot of people aren't sort of like that, to put so much of themselves in that. Even the guys who created Superman did put a lot of themselves in. Joe Schuster um, and, and his partner in crime, they were able to put in how they felt in high school and how the experiences they had shaped them and, and how they put that into their, their work. And that's what, a, to me, what a true artist is, someone who can take their life and what's happening in their life and put it into a creative art form to express themselves, to show who they are, to express what they feel and think. And this is a great example of that. It's a very interesting film and an interesting story I didn't know a lot about. And I was glad I was able to experience this. And I'm glad they made a film based upon this so we could see what it was all about. Look, final verdict. This is a really interesting film. If you like Wonder Woman, if you like the idea of creation um, of a character and how artists form these sort of ideas, you'll probably enjoy this. If you like the idea of love and experiencing love on a sh human level, this is definitely for you. One of the main things is the relationship between the three is really frowned upon, even today. But if you think about it, love has no boundaries. Love doesn't sit and go, this is what it is. All our prejudice and frustration for these sort of things or disagreement with them comes out of fear, a fear of the unknown. We've created this thing in society where if you don't fit in this particular box then you're strange or odd and it's frowned upon and looked at that in a disgusting way but it's much more than that. Love is love. It has no boundaries. You can't contain it. You can't restrict what it is and what it is capable of. It has to expand and engulf as much as it can in a positive way and I think this is a great example of that. I was really impressed with this film. I'm going to give it four out of five. I really liked it. I'd like to see more films based upon this sort of thing. I'd love to see a bit more of Superman, the creators of Superman and where they came from. That'd be kind of an interesting sort of thing. But yeah, this is not a film, probably not going to be a film for everyone, but anyone who's interested in the superhero genre probably really get a lot out of this. I was really impressed with it and I was glad I was able to see it and I think it should be seen by a wider audience because of its subject matter but also looking at this feminist superhero, the first really strong capable female superhero to come out in the 40s. Just a really interesting story to see the creation of how that character was formed. Anyway that's all from me today, if you've enjoyed what you've heard here please hit subscribe down the bottom, otherwise until next time enjoy the movies.